Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to take a look at a 12 card PSA order uh, that I just got back from PSA. When I sent these in, I sent these in at $150 per card. This was about two or three months ago maybe and uh, you know that was the cheapest that they had when I sent them in. I think they're down now to $100 a card but when I sent them in they were $150. And uh, before I sent them in I, rec I wrote down the 12 cards and what I was sort of uh, guessing the grades would be. I kind of did this actually for the purpose of the channel, so to sort of see how I was doing based on, you know, given PSA's new sort of stricter stricter grading standards and uh, just to see, you know, to see how, how accurate I've, I've been. You know, in the past I've been been able to do it pretty well. Uh, recently I've been definitely off quite a bit more than usual simply because, like I said, they've sort of upped their grading standards recently and sort of I haven't uh, haven't quite sort of adjusted my thinking enough yet to match it but so on the right there you can see the 12 cards and, and what I was expecting to get in most cases I, I gave you know uh, two different grades you know expecting to get one or the other uh, and uh, yeah let's go ahead and, and check it out you can see you got I got the 86 Fleer Jordan there at the top I was looking to get a 1.5 it was pretty pretty creased up there's a Gretzky rookie is looking to get a four or a five and uh, some other stuff, bunch of uh, some you know some stock or stuff. The the card at the bottom, the 2002 Brady Finest Refractor. Um, that that's a big money card. And if it flukishly were to get a 10, it would be you know a five figure card. But uh, I'll spoil it for everyone. It does not uh, does not get a 10. And I wasn't expecting a 10. You can see everyone on the page eight or nine. So uh, let's get rid of all this advertising stuff and take a look at the cards here. And the first thing I noticed was that there is a couple pieces of cardboard put in the middle of the order. With a couple of cards and uh, semi ridges in the middle, that means those cards did not grade, and they were altered or trimmed or something. Uh, PSA didn't like them, so uh, that's uh, unfortunate. As that's money, you know, obviously the cards didn't get put into a PSA holders, but also that's $150 each that I, I lost. Uh, first card here, 2014 Panini Prism, a red and yellow Pulsar Prism. Lionel Messi gets a nine. I'd written nine or ten on the page, so nothing too surprising about that one. Here's the Tom Brady card I'd mentioned. 2002 finest refractor. This is a third year card of Brady, although it's sort of sort of more like a second year card since he has so few cards from 2001. Uh, it's serial numbered out of 250, and this is, a, this is a big money card. If this had been a 10, it would have been like a $20,000 card. In the eight here, it's still probably a thousand, two thousand dollar card, something like that. Um, so it's still it's still a nice card, of course. And uh, you know, I was expecting an eight or nine. Would have loved the nine. The nine would have been quite a bit more, and obviously the 10 would have been. Uh, a home run, but obviously not expecting the 10. And here are the cards that did not pass PSA's grading. They came back altered or not authentic or trimmed or something like that. And you can see right out of the bat, it's the uh, Jordan rookie and the Gretzky rookie. Ouch, that hurts. So the Gretzky here gets an altered grade. Um, I was expecting a 4 or a 5 on this thing and came back altered. So that's good that, it, that they didn't call it not authentic. They call it altered, meaning they, they consider it authentic. It's a, it's a legit original... 1979 tops Wayne Gretzky, but uh, they call it altered, and I could not find anywhere what the alteration would be. I don't see anything of like a recoloration, or you know, there's no trimming or anything. I, I really, I really looked this over for quite a while and just could not find anything that uh, that would suggest it was altered. I, you know, I measured it obviously up here against the Brady, and it measured it, it measured perfectly. And 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 even if it had been trimmed, they would have written on the case trimmed or evidence of trimming, but they didn't. So they don't they don't think it was trimmed. I really don't know what, what the issue with this uh, Gretzky is here. Now, you know, I now have to sort of decide what do I do with it. Um, probably gonna I could resend it to PSA again and hope 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 they change. You know, hope they give it a different grade this time. Or I could send it to SGC maybe and see if uh, SGC will grade it. That that'll probably be my choice, but. We'll, uh, we'll have to sort of think that one over later. And the same thing here with the with the Jordan. I mean, they called it altered. So they don't they don't think it's a fake. They think it's an original Michael Jordan rookie. Um, they just consider it altered. Uh, and again, not trimmed, because if it was trimmed, they would have said on the label, evidence of trimming. And I, I looked this over also. I don't, I don't see what the alteration would be. I, I don't see any sort of recoloration on it or any... Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure what to even look for beyond that but the card looks good to me it is heavily creased i don't know if you can see the creases in the video but so i was expecting a 1.5 on the jordan not expecting a high grade but 1.5 would still be a four figure card here uh here it gets altered so again we'll probably we'll send this into sgc maybe or i might try psa again and maybe we'll just pass next time depending on uh, but uh other than that you know obviously sort of disappointing on uh, on that and that does happen now and then just they're seeing something I, i'm not seeing for whatever reason and 
Uh, just It's just part of the game, unfortunately. Uh, here's another one that sort of hurt a little bit. 2003, Campione de Futuro, Cristiano Ronaldo. This is rookie year of Ronaldo. Got a uh, 7. I thought this card was just pack fresh perfect. Um, except for the tiniest bit off center left to right. Like 60-40 or, or even a little better than that. But uh, I was looking for a 9 or a 10 and... It just got a seven. I, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. And there was another card from the same set. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, uh, also sort of rookie year. I was looking for a nine or a ten. This card's absolutely perfect. Uh, could not see an issue with it with the, with my eye. So it got a nine. So you know, I was looking for you know maybe a nine and a ten here, hopefully, and it got a seven and a nine. So again, a little bit disappointing, but you know, I think this is the new the new set of standards that uh, PSA is going with and. Again, something I'm, I just sort of have to adjust to. These are still still worthwhile sending in for sure at $150 for these grades, but would have loved to uh, do better. Uh, another Cristiano Ronaldo 2014 Panini Prism. This is a silver prism. First year prism for Ronaldo. I was looking for an 8 or a 9. I think at the back had a couple specs, so I knew it would not grade a 10. Uh, hoping for a 9 again, but it comes back an 8. You can see most of the cards I'm getting are on the low end of my my expectations yeah the top the top border has the tiniest bit of, of chipping so i had no chance at a 10 um and it gets uh, an eight and i'm not sure what the card's worth in an eight probably a few hundred dollars something like that uh here's a mario lemieux rookie and this is actually the first card that sort of gets on the upper end of my expectations i was looking for a five or a six and it got a psa six 1985 opg mario lemieux and the card's actually extremely sharp corners edges surface are all very very clean you know mint qualities but it's pretty badly off center left to right there uh 75 25 maybe even a little little worse than that so that that's sort of the the big obvious issue but yeah i'll take this one take a take a six on the mario lemieux rookie it's a great card especially if you're not you know huge stickler for centering like 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 a lot of people are but uh here's a jackie robinson uh, the same card i had in that giveaway but in 1955 tops Jackie Robinson and I uh, got a 3.5 and I was looking for a 3 or a 4 so I got this one right on the dot one of the uh, few cards uh, that was actually the case uh, this card's pretty pretty nice it's a very presentable sort of lower mid grade card but it just sort of has little little issues throughout you know the corners are slightly tipped all around the edges have a little little bit of chipping here and there the centering's okay but not not great you know just sort of a standard 3 you know 3 to 4 level level card at uh, the National this year, and I actually showed it in my, my National video, but I bought a 1958 Verlag uh, soccer set. And that set, and I, I paid something like three grand for the set, and the set actually has four Pele cards. Uh, and these are Pele's rookies, and I sent two of them to PSA here, and then I sent two of them to SGC. And these came back pretty good, three and a four. That's basically exactly what I was looking for. You can see I put three or four on both of them. So I got a three, uh, you know, I got three on one and a four on, a, on the other. That's actually... I was very relieved about that because this is a set I'm not familiar with. These could have come back altered or uh, even un not original. I, I wasn't really expecting that. But um, when it's a set you're not familiar with, you never quite know what to expect. But getting a three and a four on, on these are really good because that's kind of what I was hoping for when I bought the set uh, as these will do well. These are both going to be four-figure cards in, in these holders as is here. And I, like I said, two other Pele's from the set, those were both sent to SGC. I haven't gotten those back yet, so... Uh, given that I got a three and a four on on these two cards, I think I'm going to end up doing pretty well on on that set overall. And I'm going to keep one of those. That'll be my my best sort of Pele rookie that I have in my collection at the moment. And uh, Michael Schumacher, 1982 Grid Formula One rookie. I was really hoping for a ten on this card. Is this just pack fresh perfect? But uh, it gets it gets a nine. You know, PSA just not giving out a whole lot of tens anymore. But and a 10, this is like a, I think it's like a $2,000 card, something like that. And a 9, I think it's probably five, $600. i am just sort of guessing that off the top of my head. So I'm not really sure. Still a very, very quality card in a 9. Uh, but yeah, would have loved the 10, but I didn't get any 10s on this entire order. I don't think so. But I guess there were only like a few cards that were realistic, realistic 10 contenders. But no 10s in my, uh, in my PSA order. So overall, I mean, well, the, the Jordan and the Gretzky, that's pretty disappointing, but if you ignore the Jordan and the Gretzky, you know, the rest of the order is basically, you know, fine. And a few cards graded a little lower than I was expecting. A few got sort of on the higher end of the spectrum. But, uh, you know, that Cristiano Ronaldo getting a 7, that was a little, little disappointing. was looking for a 9 on that. And would have loved to get like a, a 9 on the Tom Brady or a 10 on the Schumacher. But overall, you know, basically what I was expecting. The, the two Pele cards, that's really actually really nice getting a 3 and a 4. That is what I expected, but... Those could have come back, you know, altered, trimmed, not original. So getting a threes and fours on those were important. Uh, the Lemieux getting a six was really nice. So 
Overall, if you ignore the Gretzky and the Jordan, which, you know, that's a big ignore, uh, the order was, was basically, uh, basically okay. As I mentioned, I'll keep one of the Pele's for my PC, probably the four, uh, as I don't, I don't have a Pele rookie in my PC at the moment. I, I'll probably keep the Schumacher. Um, I don't have a, a Schumacher in my, my PC either. Everyone else, uh, all of the cards I will uh, put up for sale in, in some way or the other. And obviously, the, like I mentioned, the Gretzky and the Jordan, we'll, we'll have to uh, rethink and we'll probably send those back in to SGC or maybe even back into PSA and hope for better luck next time. But that's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a, have a great day. Stay safe and see you all again uh, real soon. Thanks everyone.